Hi guys, so today I thought I'd do a Christmas design for a contest for the Born Pretty store. This is a Christmas themed contest. I'm going to be doing my design on natural nails. So first we'll talk about what we're going to use. Um, I'm using my nail color as this one here. It's just a shimmery silver and I've just painted that all over my nails. And then I'm going to be using an array of colors. Um, this is my palette. So I have the primary colors here and then I have white and black. And then you're also going to need a dotting tool and a striping brush. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our striping brush and I just have a little bit of water here in my palette and I'm just going to get that in there and I'm going to kind of dip it in the white but I'm going to thin out the white and I'm going to be working from this area right here that I've thinned out. So going to my nail, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by making some horizontal lines and I'm just going to start at one end and I'm just going to drag that up. And they don't have to be perfect. I want it to kind of rep look like a candy cane and so they're just going to be random. And I'm just going to repeat that process to all the nails and I'll make some a little bit thicker. So once your paint's had a chance to dry, what you're going to do is you're just going to go in and you're going to draw, I'm going to thin this out a little bit so it's easier to work with. And I'm just going in with a shorter striper. And you're just going to go in and you're going to create a line that goes through one side of your nail to the other. So once your black's had a chance to dry, what you're going to do is you're just going to come in with each one of your colors and you're going to load up your dotting tool. And I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer. You're just going to touch down at the black line and pull down to give the effect of lights. And you just want to do that randomly with each color. Wiping off in between each color so you don't mix. Now this step is optional. All I'm doing is I'm going in with some of this folk art um, glitter paint and it's a holographic and all I'm going to do is go in and when it comes out it's opaque but it dries clear. So I'm just going to load up my brush and I'm just going to touch down on some of the lights to make them look like they're twinkling. I'm not going to do them all, just a few to give it a kind of different effect. Once everything's dried, all that's left to do is to add your top coat and clean up any edges that need to be cleaned up, um, and then you're done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll post some pictures at the end for you guys.